That was 33 seconds of my dog drinking. Do you wait all day to drink water? Huh? You wait all day to drink water? You're so loud. What's up guys? So I have been not even dropping hints, blatantly just saying that I'm going to Jamaica soon. So it's not this weekend, it's next weekend. And believe it or not, I have not started packing, which is very hard to believe because normally I'm packed like three months in advance. I'm just a psycho. So I thought I would do a vlog of what I'm going to be packing. I just got home from work. I'm going to round up all of my CVS extra bucks and then run over to CVS and just get like the mini travel essentials, shaving cream, razors, deodorant, whatever, everything that you need. And then I did pull out a couple pieces of clothes as I was going through my closet selling stuff. If you do not follow me on Instagram, make sure you do. It's at Erin Heartbreak. I am selling clothes, purses, shoes, accessories, like Michael Kors stuff. Stuff still has tags on it, everything for $20. So follow me there. But basically I did pull a couple items, so I'll show you those and how I plan on styling, what kind of theme I'm going for, because bitches are psycho and you can't just go on vacation and have fun. So yeah, I'm gonna round up all my extra bucks, take you to CVS with me and show you how a real couponer does it. And we'll just pack together. And so I just got back from CVS. And when I tell you I am the best shopper everywhere, your girl ain't lying. So I saved 46%, $34 will round up. Not to mention everything that I just got back from this long list of receipts, but I'm gonna show you what I just picked up. So I made a list from Pinterest on, um, go ahead, you wanna say hi, Cal? So I made a list on Pinterest on just like traveling, toiletries, whatever. I went through our cabinets to see what we already had and then purchased accordingly. So I picked up this bag. I thought it was really cute, bag of tricks. <laughs> Um, just to stay organized with everything that I did grab that is travel size. So I bought that. I already had a tanning lotion, but I wanted one. You can't smell anything, Kelly. You're so silly. You're so silly. Look at the tail go. So I picked up, I just like this type of tanning lotion um, or sunscreen. I think it smells really good. But I love the one that has instant bronzer in it. Usually I buy this type in this container, but they didn't have it because it's the middle of winter and why would they? So for an oil, I like to apply this to, need to sniff it? I like to apply this to my legs and then this everywhere else. I hate when this gets on a bathing suit. So that stays on my legs. I am French and Irish, so it is just nice if I don't want to put lotion on to have this after a full day in the sun. It's inevitable for my skin. You need shaving lotion. I did not want to travel with a really large one because I have gotten laser hair removal on a couple places on my body. I really don't need to shave that often, so a small one will do the trick. And my husband does not have a beard, so it's not a big deal. He won't use a lot of it. Essential. Hey! What are you doing in there? Gosh, she's being so nosy right now. So a typical week, I would only wash my hair maybe once or twice, but because I will be in pools and the ocean, I will wash it every single day. That's why I just wanted to get a small one. Um, I don't know, probably won't use it, but whatever, I'll definitely use it when I get home. Essential, oh my God. If you are traveling, you want to keep this in the bathroom, this bottle will definitely last until we get back, but you're just in such tight spaces and I don't know, it's just essential. I don't even know what poop smells like anymore if we're being honest, so definitely pick one of these up. Wipes, keep yourself clean, especially traveling and being in places that are foreign. Body wash. I love Dove. It's just better on my skin. I have really sensitive skin. So I honestly haven't used this since I was probably like 12, but our scalps are pretty dry right now coming from winter in New England. And then just with the salt water and the sun, I thought this would be better to prevent anything that might happen to our scalp. So we'll see how this works out. I then bought a face wash. I actually just bought a 
proactive face wash from Ulta. I had a really good coupon. Um, I think it was like a $35 face wash I got for $5, but I'll bring this with me just to travel. Two more things. Bug spray. I mean, obviously, Zika was a thing a little while ago. I don't know how that really affected anyone in Jamaica or if we're going to be around a lot of trees, woods, what have you, but just in case, this conditioner I also don't know anything about, but it says that it's good for fine and thin hair basically, and I just put it on my ends anyways. So that's all I got from, C that's all I got, I got a lot. This is what I picked up from CVS. Now I'm going to show you guys what I am looking to pack. This is what I like to call organized chaos. So I went through and I started picking out bathing suits first and basically this, uh, where'd they all go? Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven. So we are going from Saturday to Saturday. So what I did was I picked out seven bathing suits that I liked and I kind of made day outfits and then I also pulled, how many did I pull? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I pulled eight outfits that I can wear during the day or night. So as you can see, the color scheme is like really warm. I picked a lot of reds, yellows, and I don't know why, but that's just what I'm gonna go with. So right now I'm going to try all of the bathing suits on with the cover-ups and make sure they work and then go from there. I'm not gonna lie, I just laid in bed for hours to avoid doing this, but I've got a pack. So I am planning on bringing a pair of jeans. I don't know if I'm just gonna do one pair of white jeans or not, but I picked up this top from Express today. Everything was 40% off. I honestly think it was already on sale. It was, I think it was $20. That's the back of it. And then it was an additional 40% off. So I picked up a couple tops today, but this is easy because if I travel wearing my jeans, then I have them with me and I can wear these with those Hermes dupes that I bought from Amazon. But this is just something that's super easy for a night that might be a little bit more chilly. And this is like, um, it's like a satin kind of top. So what I like to do is try outfits on first. I'll take a photo wearing them just so I kind of can look back at it after. Sorry, the lighting in my room is such trash right now. Um, and then I'll pick out shoes later. So I like to just bring two pairs of shoes, maybe three if I'm going to do a pair of sneakers. But I will style shoes always after. So I like this a hell of a lot better. I think it looks a lot more summery. I did pull these jeans out to wear them with a different top, but I think this looks a lot better and it's less that I have to pack if I can wear them with another top. Okay guys, so <laughs> this top is gonna have to have something on underneath it. This is the original outfit that I was thinking with just wearing a pair of espadrilles or wedges, brown sandals. It's obviously super summery. This could definitely be a beach cover-up too, but I like it with just a pair of white jeans. So summery. Um, this is the back crochet, obviously. I don't know if you watched my Zaffle haul, Zaffle, Zaffle, whatever, haul or not, but I bought a bathing suit with this pattern. The top did not fit me at all. I just tried to like kind of make it work again and it was not gonna happen, but I did have this black top that I don't have bottoms for, so this is working out. What I like to do as far as bathing suits, just during the day outfits, is I like to wear a pair of high-waisted like old Levi shorts or a cover-up. So I'm gonna try them on with a pair of shorts. So ideally, this is what I would be wearing during the day, just throw on a pair of shorts. Let me just make this clear. This is my absolute favorite bathing style, bathing suit style in the whole entire world. I think it's so flattering. It gives me a waist. It makes my legs look, oh, you like my slippers? Makes my legs look even longer. Um, my husband hates it. He literally thinks I look like an ant. I absolutely loved this in Mexico last year. I wore it a ton this summer too. And I'll show you the cover up I plan on wearing with this. Are you kidding? It's like I'm going to Jamaica prom. Look at this. And then it flows when you walk. Hey. So I wore, I didn't wear this exact combo in Mexico last year, but I did have this cover up. It's from ASOS. I really, really love it. It'll look so good with those YSL slide dupes that I own. 
So this is definitely a pool day winner. Okay, so this is kind of like the whole black look that I was doing too. Um, I'm not gonna sit here and try on seven bathing suits for you guys. This isn't a soft porn. If you want to see any of my bathing suit swimsuit <laughs> reviews, they are somewhere on my channel. But this is just a red bathing suit with white shorts. I mean, nothing crazy. I love the back of this bathing suit. So fun, but these are just like simple fail-proof outfits where you're not trying so hard. You just want to go lay by the pool, but throw something on really quickly. Let's take a break from the bathing suits. I purchased this outfit last year for Mexico, and I went to wear it our last day in Mexico with all of our friends and family um, before we left for our honeymoon, and I had panic attack after panic attack after panic attack. It was the night after the wedding and I just felt like my world was ending. It was a year of just built up anxiety that came crashing down and I didn't hang out with anyone. I didn't see them. I was with my sister and one of my best friends that lives in Australia. Just panic attacks. It was actually miserable. So hopefully I have better luck this time. I did not realize how indecisive I was until I started filming this video. I'm like, going out outfit, bathing suit, going out outfit, no more bathing suits, bathing suit. So another reason why I just figured out I was so indecisive, I literally have the same bathing suit in a shade of a difference. So I'm trying them both on right now to just see which one I like better. One is from White Fox Swim and the other one is from Airy. I'm just gonna sell whatever one doesn't fit my body the best. I love wearing one piece swimsuits and shorts for excursions. You can throw a pair of sneakers on a hat and just make it work so these are just some really comfy thin shorts I got from Gap earlier this summer again they're in a haul somewhere on my channel but this is a super easy outfit to go out on excursions I cannot tell if I love or hate or it's just like whatever Oof. this is why you try on your outfits before and you don't just lay them out on a bed because they could not work out. So I wanted to do more of a dressy bodysuit for the score. I never wore this score. It's from Forever 21. You can see the shorts are in the back. I just feel like it has more of a dress up feel because of the details on here and it is a nice material, but this bodysuit is kind of, it's like it's almost overpowering it. It's just doing the absolute most. Right, this definitely looks so much better. I don't know why I thought this was gonna look bad, but you just need a simple top when you're working with something like this. Okay, so this might be the most random but comfortable outfit I put together. I haven't worn either of these. So I purchased both from Forever 21, a haul I did like last summer. And I really, really, <laughs> Wow, I can't even speak. That's how excited I am about the outfit. So I love the scrunch detail on the side of the skirt. It's just like so flattering. This top is just light. I feel like, and I don't know if you can tell with the crochet details in here, there's also buttons on the back of it. I feel like this is a great outfit to just put on if we're gonna go dancing, if I got a little too much sun that day because it's nice and loose, it won't be sitting on my skin and irritating it at all. But this is just so much fun, guys. I'm so excited for Jamaica. Okay, so I'm a little annoyed. This cover up is supposed to have a string, a string going around it and it must have came out when I washed it when we got back from Mexico last year. So it's really cute. It's supposed to just like cinch at the waist and cover you and then you walk and it like blows open, but it's not. I mean, it's definitely still a good cover up, but I'm not sure how to get the string back through it. So if you guys have any tips and tricks on how to get a string back through something, let me know in the comment section below because I would much rather wear this outfit with the string inside the cover up correctly. So here is another super basic staple outfit. This is just a black bodysuit and then a denim skirt. I can easily switch out all kinds of shirts and bottoms with either one of these pieces. And you just wear them with a pair of sandals. You can honestly wear them with wedges too if you want. And your outfit is done.
I'm not gonna try on this red dress. Wow, it's so much brighter on camera. So I'm not gonna try this on because I've worn it in a video already. So I know how it fits. It's just that classic bright piece. So we have three more items. I'm just gonna get the bathing suits out of the way and then I'll try on this baby. Excuse me. Thank you. So I already know that this combination works. This was one of my favorite looks when we were in Mexico last year. It is the black bathing suit I had on earlier, except in this nude color with this beautiful cover-up. I cannot believe this cover-up is from Forever 21. It does have a tie that can go all the way around, but I just think it pulls it back and gives me a little bit more of hips, waist, whatever. So this, this is a winner. I'm really pissed I didn't purchase this in black when I purchased it in this mustard, whatever it is. So this is a jumpsuit I purchased from Forever 21. I have not worn it yet, still has the tags on it, but the back is so much fun. So these two like panels, they wrap around your waist and you can wrap them as many times as you want. I didn't tie them all the way because I'm just lazy and then it wraps around your back. How much fun is this? Oh, by the way, I did not <laughs> try this on for you guys because the top it, the top has a corset back and it completely came undone and I just don't have the time or the patience to redo it just for a video. So I went and I laid out all of my day outfits basically with the bathing suits and the cover-ups and then I went and I grabbed, sorry, my room is a mess because I'm selling clothes. Um, so I basically am just gonna be wearing, wow. I'm bringing a pair of black and brown sandals. These are the YSL dupes that I got at Lulu's. I haven't worn either of these yet. And then these are the Hermes dupes. So yeah, basically this will work, this will work, this will work. <laughs> and then these will work with these. So I love packing cubes. I keep them all organized and then in a suitcase. So what I'm gonna do is take all of my bathing suits and put them in one cube. And then I'll take all of my shorts, put them in another cube and then all my tops, whatever. And I feel like this is the best way to pack, not by outfit because it stays way more organized. Well, to fit five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five and a half bathing suits in this one and then I have another tiny one that I'm gonna put my underwear and the rest of bathing suits in. But see, so easy. I also have these bags for your shoes so you're not getting dirt everywhere. But because these slides are so tiny, they will fit in one. So these are all the outfits I packed for nighttime, basically, or if we do anything like fun during the day. Because I've already taken photos in them, I am going to pack them by tops and bottoms because I already know how I will be styling them. Also like to make sure that I basically have a brown and black set of everything. So I had brown and black slides. I have this gold brown pair of aviators. I'm not gonna take them out of the package right now. And then I just purchased a pair of black sunglasses from Amazon. So those haven't come in yet, but those are accessories. So I'm really not packing them yet. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna divide these up and then put them into the larger packing cubes all rolled and ready to go. It's honestly kind of sick how much room I still have. So here are all of my day outfits. Here are my bottoms, my tops my bathing suit and underwear. So this is just crazy once I put it in the suitcase to see how much room I still have for stuff.